here at IDEA, we are the designers of what every single student, all 30,000, learn from the minute they step in as four-year-olds till the minute they graduate and go off to college. Oscar, Montserrat, Pedro. We want to be the largest producer of low-income college graduates. That long-term goal is getting to college, and getting through college for 100% of our students. And that is the impact that we are trying to make here. Being a first-generation college graduate in my family, I think I can relate to a lot of our students here. Good job. <laughs> my older sister and I actually graduated on the same day from college, so we were tied for first and second. But that has resonated with me. And when I thought about how my parents pushed us to go to college, that is not always the truth for our students. So I feel a big sense of responsibility to provide this robust academic program for kids along this whole spectrum. Go wobbling, wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> if I were king of the world, I would have every single school district have pre-K. That is eliminating the achievement gap for our students at a very, very young age all the way to AP, which is the other end of the spectrum, getting kids ready for this new environment with their peers, with their teachers, knowing how to advocate for themselves, but really, really believe that they, one, belong in a college or university of their choice, not just any college or university. The handoff then comes to the implementers out in the field and the hundreds of teachers. Without both, we would not be where we are today. Look what we've done, look what we've created, look at the opportunities that we have for young people that we didn't have before. And when I think about Dolores, I mean, this is what she's continuously doing. It really goes back to Dolores setting big, bold, ambitious goals and getting a whole lot of people to believe in the goal, to believe in the mission, to believe in what the vision was. That's what a leader does. And, and I can't think of anybody who exemplifies that more than Dolores. What my manager often says is, listen like you're wrong, but argue like you're right. And when you can do that with a team of people, having those conversations as leaders of IDEA is something that I think is really special here.